Hey there guys, this is NDM here, welcoming you back to another episode of Let's Play Earthbound. Okay, so in the last episode we uh, finished the underground cave that come that takes you from, well it starts off in 3 and then takes you to this area right here where there's a massive lake. And we're currently being possessed by ghosts. Ghosts. We've been, we've been, we've been possessed by ghosts. Yeah, I haven't recorded much this week because this week has actually been a pretty rough week for me. Um, I haven't been feeling uh, myself because of uh, problems and things, so if I don't sound so good in this video, I might sound better as the video progresses because usually that does happen. But I tried recording this the other day and I just felt so depressed that I just pretty much cut off the video and called it a day. Uh, so hopefully today is the day. Where I make a bit of a comeback and start getting some more videos recorded again. So I need to get back on that ball. Because uh, at the moment I'm falling off that ball and I'm falling way behind on recordings. So I've got... <sighs> you see the thing is, with my channel at the moment, there are just so many projects scattered all over the place. It's starting to make me feel a bit concerned with my channel and how I'm going to get things finished. Because I don't know how the hell I'm going to get Mystery Dungeon finished. And I don't know how the hell I'm going to get DKC3 finished. And I don't know how the hell I'm going to get Banjo-Tooie finished. The only Let's Plays that I'm mainly focusing on at the moment is Earthbound and Phantom Hourglass. Because I know I can get Earthbound finished and I know I can get Phantom Hourglass finished in no time. Like, they're not going to take me a year for me to finish, like... Mystery Dungeon, Donkey Kong Country 3, and Banjo-Tooie have been. But Banjo-Tooie would have been finished ages ago if I had have had myself a PC joystick to play the game with. I'd have finished that in no time, but considering I don't have the uh, correct equipment to record Banjo-Tooie with, that Let's Play has been slacking behind. I've only recorded four videos and now I can't get past the part that I want to get past. Because when you start a Let's Play, the main thing to, in a Let's Play is to try your best to 100% the game. You know, as best as you can. Even if it's a blind Let's Play, I like to try and get things 100%, 100%ed. The only things that haven't 100%ed on this channel are... Minish Cap, Oracle of Ages, Donkey Kong Country 1, and Donkey Kong Country 2. I still haven't caught up on Donkey Kong Country 3. Like, I, I said I'd do some, pr I'd do some practice stuff on my file for the Wii U, but I haven't gotten around to doing that either. Because I've just been having so many life problems at the moment that it's affected me personally. And if only you knew what was going on in my life, uh, you'd all probably understand exactly why I don't want to be recording as much. That's why it's the same reason why I didn't record last year as well. I didn't record much towards the end of last year. The beginning of the year was actually fairly active because I was perfectly fine. My life was normal, you know, but ever since that thing that happened in August, it's just gone downhill ever since then and I'm still stuck in that same position as I was all them months ago and it doesn't seem like it wants to go away and it's just stuck with me unfortunately I've tried moving on as well you know I've had friends to help me and support me get through it It's just a long-term depression thing, and there are reasons behind it that I don't want to publicly exploit onto YouTube. It's, you know, personal things. Alright, so I need to heal myself. Oh, I got over the cold, but I haven't got over the depre the, um, <laughs> the ghost, yeah, I haven't got rid of the possession thing. Um, well, I also need to heal myself. Oh, no, I don't have enough PP. I only have one PP left. Ah, uh, my blood is running low. I need to refill. 
Well, no, I don't need to refill. Yeah, I do need to refill. Because <laughs> I'm empty. Do you? So I'm probably only get w gonna get one video recorded today. And that'll probably be enough because I've got three episodes of Phantom Hourglass on my channel. So I can get two of those out. And I can get one of Earthbound. I might record some Chaos Edition if you guys are lucky. Maybe that might actually cheer me up a little bit more because it's uh, the commentary seems to flow a lot better with that game because there's more crazier stuff going on in the video, so there's more to commentate on, which keeps up the humor. Whereas with this game, it's pretty straightforward, you know. Like there's nothing really to commentate on that's funny, considering I've already beat the game before as well. It's just me telling you how to get through it, I guess. And talking about other things as well, you know. Informing of you informing you of what's going on in my life and things like that. But yeah, next week's also gonna be a pretty busy week. It's my first week back at college. And then I've got birthdays to be attending to as well. So yeah, that's basically everything that's going on at the moment. Sorry about that, I did just make a cut, by the way. Alright, 17,000 experience. I need to get to a hospital. You know, that's all very nice and stuff. You know, we're getting all the good experience and things. But we need to get ourselves healed. Otherwise, we're just going to struggle. <laughs> I'm hoping the microphone's picking up my voice okay, because I am talking pretty softly at the moment. I'm not talking so loud. Alright. Uh, doctor's place. Uh, is this it? Yeah, this is it. I'm Dr. Saturn. Zoom, and I can repair your body. Doing, do you want me to o operate on you? Yes. And it's for free as well, so pretty. I think all the facilities here are for free. Even the inn, you can stay in for free as well. So this is one of those hub areas that is the best place to go to for healing. But we won't be coming back here for a long time after we've done everything that we need to do here, unfortunately. Um, so just make good use of the facilities as much as you can, because this is a one-time thing, for now anyway, until we have to come back here for later things. Alright, so we'll record and save. That's all high and dandy. And then we can... Well, I don't think we need to rest... Uh, let me just check my... Yeah, we actually do need to rest. Because apparently healing ourselves doesn't heal our PP. We need to actually stay in the hotel and... Oh, wait, hang on a second. Tyler fixed the broken iron. After being fixed, the broken iron became the slime generator. The slime generator? What on earth is that? Um... Let's have a look and see. I don't actually know what this is. Can't remember. Slime generator. Items for Tyler. Sprays a sticky substance that stops the enemy from moving. Can be used many times. Wow. Um, uh, that could be useful in boss fights, actually. Especially when there's boss fights where there are enemies in the background, because then you can, you know, immobilize them so that you can then attack them. Without them attacking you. But you could also use it on the boss, I think, as well, so... And if, if it says you can use it multiple times, then... That'll be pretty... Then you can use it more than once, so if you're in a boss battle where there are more than one enemy, you can use it on the enemies and then use it on the boss as well. There is a rust promoter inside, but there's no point in picking that up because that's pretty useless to us. Alright, so the main thing that we are here for is the shop, and to talk to one of the Saturns, which will give us the clue to where um, a hidden dungeon is. Alright, so let's go into the shop, which it could be found up on this hill. How much money do we have on us? Zero dollars! Yeah, we're, we're gonna buy a hell of a load of things with zero dollars. <laughs> You know, we can live the high life with zero dollars. I'm talking to the ATM machine. <laughs> now we need to check it out so we can withdraw. And we shall withdraw. Um, I think 3,000 would be enough. 
or no, 2,000 would be enough for us to squander away. Hi hi, you come buying, you can sell too. I'm Mr. Satin Doing, can do all for you. What do you want? Zoom. So we can buy the Bionic Slingshot, which is uh, it's a good weapon for Cassia, but it's also low on accuracy, so there's no point really in giving her the Bionic Slingshot. It's not good for Shulk because it'll also decrease Shulk's accuracy, and the weapon that Shulk has at the moment is high on accuracy, but not as powerful as the Bionic Slingshot. So it's better off just having Shulk keep with the baseball bat instead of transferring it over for that. So... Oh, the Great Charm, Silver Bracelet. So really all we need is the Great Charm, Silver Bracelet, and Red Ribbon for all our characters. Right, so we'll buy Great Charm for Shulk, who I believe still has the um, Travel Charm, which is a pretty crappy weapon, if you do, if I do say so myself. So I'm going to sell this. Considering we're transferring over for the Great Charm. <laughs> 40 on defense, that's fantastic. Yeah, that's a huge improvement over 40, isn't it? Alright, so we'll sell. I think he's also got a travel charm too. Oh no, he doesn't even have a charm on him. Okay, you know what? We're going to sell the stun gun. $75. And for that, we will then replace with the Great Charm. Which will actually probably increase his defense by a lot, because he doesn't have much defense equipment on, so... Oh, no, it doesn't. It just decreases, it increases it by the same. Okay, I thought it was going to increase it by more, but clearly not. Um, so now we just need the Silver Bracelet. Uh, red, well, actually, I'm going to buy the Red Ribbon first, because it's cheaper. So she can have that in exchange for. Uh, she already has a silver bracelet. What? She she already has one and she hasn't equipped it. Um, you know I'm gonna sell a silver bracelet for a silver bracelet. I think that'll actually. Um, well, we still lose money, but we actually no, we don't lose money because we sold so if I buy another, if I buy another silver bracelet that will bring it back to the same amount of money as what I would have if I was gonna buy a silver bracelet if that makes any sense oh no it doesn't I did lose money from it apparently what just happened I don't know what just happened there to be honest with you I thought I was buying a red ribbon. Yeah, I was going to buy a red ribbon. Um, so she's got that now. Now we just need the silver bracelet for both Shulk and Tyler. And we do have enough money for I think. I'm hoping we do. Alright, so let's sell the copper bracelet. No, I don't want to sell the cookie. No. I want to sell something else. Silver bracelet. Shulk, yes. Shulk has cookie. Much junk. Does anyone want to help... I thought you can sell stuff. Hmm. Now I'm gonna have to sell something to get rid of. Sell. So, yeah, we're gonna sell the copper bracelet. Sure, give us $174. Because 
because that's a huge improvement. You know, that's a whole load of money. Compared to what we're shelling out here anyway, Jesus. Now we're going to have to sell something else, aren't we? Because Tyler's also got... Um, Oh, I've got a phone call. It's your dad. You've been out there for a long time now. It may be none in my business, but don't you think it would be a good idea if you could take a break? No. I don't want to take a break. Oh, no. No. I don't, uh, well, it doesn't matter because you can still continue your game anyway. He won't shut your game off for you. Because dad doesn't have that power, unfortunately. Well, fortunately, should I say. <laughs> What am I talking about? What am I even doing here? I'm supposed to be selling. I'm not supposed to be buying. Oh my god. I'm making a huge ass of myself right now. Sell. Yes. Okay. We're getting somewhere. Alright. So we want to sell the... Well, we might as well sell a picnic lunch because there's nothing else... You know, everything else is pretty valuable, so sell that and we can buy a silver bracelet for Tyler yes and he can equip that and we'll sell the copper bracelet no we don't need anything else from your stupid ass right so let's get out of here we are done in Saturn well we're not done in Saturn Valley yet there is one more thing we need to do before we are done here, and that is to speak to this Mr. Saturn. Base, secret. Base behind Grapefruit Falls. Password, I tell. Um, I can't even read that. <laughs> de de Delaman, de de hey there, Delilah, won't you? <laughs> Delaman, say, password, then stand still. Wait for three minutes. Um, okay, so... He gave, it, he gave us a hint, so it's behind a waterfall. And are there any waterfalls in Mr. Saturn Valley? No, there isn't. So that means we now have to venture on outside of town. Because, um, as you saw, there was another pathway going up beyond the cave outside of Saturn Valley. You know, where there's that massive lake. <clears throat> well, we need to walk up there. And if you go a little ways up that path, you will come across a waterfall which we need to well interact with and then wait outside the waterfall for three minutes which I'm actually going to cut out, I'm not going to make you suffer to wait for three minutes on screen you know, with me in silence just sitting there watching the waterfall from the waterfall so hmm <clears throat> Yeah, my throat's really sore at the moment as well. That's also kind of irritating. Oh wow, we got less experience. We got less experience from that. That's because we got more party members with us, I guess. Because the more party members, the more EXP you consume. Because you know, sharing is caring and all that. So, so they say. But then there are some times where you don't want to share, you know, there are some things that you can't share. Alright, so... Damn it. Oh, someone came to level 20. Well, I don't know who that was. I was uh, scrolling through the text too fast. I think it was Tyler, actually, who just gained the level. Because <laughs> I know Cassie is the lowest level here. She's level 18. And Tyler's level 20. And Shulk's level 27. So, we're almost there. I just gotta 
walk up the pathway and get through all these nasty enemies on the way there. Even though these things don't really... Well, the zombie is the only enemy here that looks that threatening. Um, the frogs don't really look that threatening at all, to be honest. Um, okay, so freeze didn't work. But the Monado power will save us. This is the Monado power. I know freeze works on the frogs though, so if you use freeze on them, that does a lot of damage. For some, for some weird, for some weird reason, in every single mother game, freeze is the most best attack to use because almost every enemy in the game is weak to freeze like it's weird like there are times where you have to use fire and there are times where you have to use thunder but like the majority of the enemies in the game are weak to freeze which is kind of funny really when you think about it but even the crocodiles are weak to freeze and the ants as well it's, it's crazy Yeah, crocodiles get really nasty later on in the game, especially in the swampy area. But I need to save as much PP as I can, because the dungeon we're coming up to is one of them dungeons where... It's a place to grind to get a lot of experience points, and with those enemies, they come in a huge group. So you need to use the Monado power to just wipe them all out in one hit, or use fire to wipe them all out in one hit. So we need to try and save up as much PP as we possibly can, so that we can just sh just grind the hell out of that dungeon. I might even do some grinding off screen, but I know that I'll do some on screen because it's quite fun to show that sort of thing. Because grinding in this game is a lot more laid back than what it is in games like Final Fantasy. That's what I find anyway. Like Final Fantasy is just... It, it can drag the grinding in that game sometimes. I don't know. But that's just... I, I don't mind grinding in any game really. It's just that some games are more fun than grinding than others, if you know what I mean. Like, especially... Um, you know, games like Mario and Luigi Superstar Zaga, that's a good game for grinding in. Well, the whole Mario RPG series is another good example of a game that's fun to grind in. Oh, so we got Mr. Photograph Guy, or Mr. Toilet Spin Guy. Ready? Say Fuzzy Pickles! <laughs> yeah, okay. Wow, what a great photograph. It will always bring back the fondest of memories. Yep, see you, dude. See you very shortly, <laughs> I imagine. Alright, so you're supposed to say the password, okay. Now this requires you to wait here for three minutes, so I'm going to make a cut, and I'll see you guys when the text comes back on the screen again. So I'll see you then. Okay, guys, I'm back. Alright, so now we can enter the dungeon. So... I'm not going to actually make a start on this in this episode, I'm going to make a start on this in the next video. So I know this has been kind of a weird one because of all the emotions and how I've been feeling and all that. I know commentary has been, hasn't been, you know, at my best, but hopefully in the next video I'll be a little bit more, you know, better I guess. It all depends how the week goes for me I suppose. but. I'm going to leave it here, and I'll see you guys in the next video. So, until then, this is Andy M saying thanks for watching. Take care, everybody. See you in the next video, and goodbye.